Hey friends, this is Sue Koch here with Soaring Solutions. I wanted to send out another quick tip video, given that Facebook has made some changes recently with respect to the way that messaging works. You may have experienced some differences here. One of them that I've been hearing most feedback on is the frustration that an email message that used to be separate from chat can pop up as a chat message if you are online. The other frustration being that when Facebook made this change, all of the settings went back to default. So if your setting was always to have you by default off chat, which mine was, it set you to be back on. So basically the first tip with that is, you see this little chat, chat box down here on the bottom? You can just click here. It'll open up your window and show your friends that are available for chat by this green dot. If you click on this button over here on the side, you can simply check that off where it says available to chat went away from that too quickly there. You can click that box off and then that will make you unavailable. So you'll see that it shows you're offline. Another thing that you can do with this is actually use lists to limit who you want to be available to. So Facebook has had lists for quite a while, um, but this is just another great option to use for that. So for example, if I click back over here, say I want to be online to some people. And note that when you click that box again, it does turn you back online. So you have to go change these settings again. Now, what you can do is click here on Limit Availability. If you click on that box, you can see that I have some lists created for people here. So if I wanted to, I could say, you know what, I just want to chat with anyone from my eWomen networking group today. And I'm going to turn everybody else off. So then when I click OK, I will have limited availability and only be available to chat with those people. So that's a great way to limit who might be able to pop up and shoot you a message and see that you're live on Facebook. Now, if you have already created lists, you can turn this video off. <laughs> if you haven't created lists yet, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So to create a list, you come over here and click on Friends. Now, when you come over here to Manage Friend List, click on that button, and you can go here to create a list. So click on create a list. This drop down will appear, and you can enter a name for this. Let's say I want to create a new list for all of the fabulous ladies that I teach fitness classes with at the Indigo Studio. And I'll call that Indigo. And all I would do here is go search for some of those people, start typing in their first name, add those people in, and we'll just start with that and I can say create list. And there we go. And now, if I go back to my main page, I can come down here to chat and see that I can limit my availability. And since I just created that list, you can see that that automatically selected on. Now we can turn that off and say, mm, maybe I want to use that tomorrow, or you can leave it there. And as you can see, one of the ladies that is uh, at Indigo Studio with me is popped up there with a green button. So I can see that she's the only person who can see me available for chat out of those lists that's currently online with Facebook. So I hope this was helpful for you in helping to limit your availability on chat when you may find that a nuisance and also just to introduce to some of you your ability to create lists and categorize people within Facebook. So look for more soon. I'm going to keep creating more fun tips and tricks for you. And if there's anything that you have a question about, feel free to shoot me an email at sue at soaringsolutions.net or shoot me a tweet at sue underscore koch. Have a great day.